Xstar ST2 18650 battery charger. So I finally got it. Let's see what we get inside. I got it open probably by the customs, but they didn't touch the internal package. Now it's time to get it open. After a while I managed to cut out my charger from the box, as it was quite properly encapsulated with loads of fitting material inside. So I got the charger and two 18650s for it and a wall adapter for the charger, so another charger for the charger with a very strong USB-C charging port. This is the box of this ultra fast charger with all the important information in the back where you will find detailed specification in many different languages. USB socket that you would need to power the charger is PG 2.0 or Qualcomm 3.0. If you have access to such USB chargers, charger should be capable of charging batteries at 4.1 amps, not one but two of them in the same time. This charger is designed for lithium ion cells 18650s and similar, lithium manganese and lithium cobalt cells with voltage ranging from 3.6 to 3.7 volts. The box was one of them easy to open and inside we get main body of the charger, a manual in a number of languages and two USB cables. One regular USB to USB-C cable and one USB-C to USB-C, both capable of running from Qualcomm 3.0 or PD 2.0 USB ports. The charger seems to be made from good quality materials, good ABS with rubber legs, so it should not slide on desk or floor. The same things apply to the cables included in the set. Again, in the back of the device we can read the specification. Charger promises to charge cells at 4.1 amps. Hmm, is it possible? I visited the internet site of the manufacturer and I found a graph of charging speed and it seems that they use similar pattern to pattern use in electric cars. Chargers for electric cars charge them fast from 0 to 80 percent and then gradually charging speed goes down not to damage the cells and to maximally extend the lifespan of lithium cells. Spring mechanism for holding the cells and a USB socket in the back just like in a regular charger. This is USB to USB-C charging cable. Metal elements in the battery sockets are temperature sensors. It is a good idea to have separate temperature sensors instead of constantly measuring cells resistance as this value you can be misleading if a cell is damaged or it is simply an extra level of protection. Insertion of batteries? No problem. But remember that power to the device has to go first, otherwise the device will not initialize properly in ultra-fast charging mode. As you can see here, I can only charge the device using 1 or 2 amps. If you want more, you have to start the device before inserting the batteries. And remember that charger will not offer ultra-fast charging if appropriate USB source is not available. This place of the charger is bright and visible even in bright light, so you should have no problem with getting the readings. You will find voltage of your cell, percentages of the charge state, charging current and cell temperature. At the very beginning of charging process you will be able to read cell resistance in milliohms, so you'll be able to determine cell type. I did check the ultra fast charging mode and everything seems to be working fine. I checked the readings of current being used by the charger and these four amps are true, so this is a 4.1 amp 18650 charger. Let's get rid of this protection film from the screen. I am trying to show you the resistance reading that I just spoke about a second ago. So just after inserting a cell device we'll check the resistance and seconds later charging process will be initiated. I've got myself a set of two 18615 batteries with the charger from the same manufacturer and I did check the capacity they offer and they do offer 2600 as specified. They are heavy and heavy is quite important with 18650s as it is often true that heavier cells are proper 18650 with decorated capacity. Regular 18650s are around 45 to 48 grams and these are the readings that we are getting from this very cells. This charger operates at around 33 watts when delivering full power to two cells at 4.1 amps. So adequate cooling is needed but there is lots of cooling vents. Power cables do not heat up so it means that there is adequate amount of copper and that is good.
good. If you want to use this fast charging setting, remember to get yourself a proper wall adapter that is capable of delivering these 35 watts over the USB cable. I got this Xtar wall adapter that delivers power over USB-C socket. Wall adapter has continental and American plug so you can use it with 220 volts and 110 volts if you live in America. I am very happy with the device. If you have any concerns, read the comments under the video or ask me a question in the comment section. It is a proper, intelligent, fast charger, good materials, bright screen, nothing to add. I will probably get to one for four or even six cells when available in the future. As you can see here, I'm quite a hardcore user of 18650s. I love the big batteries for everything. I used to use this very Nitecore new i4 charger for a number of years, but for the time being, I'm in love with this one. 4.1 amps for each cell, much faster than this one. I'm just waiting for a bigger version for four, maybe six cells. And if you want to get one of them, just check the links below and you'll be able to get one of them super fast chargers made by Xstar with 4.1 amps per cell. So check the links below and that's it. Cut! As usually at the very end of the video, I will beg you to watch some other of my videos. One here, one here, one here. And I will beg you to subscribe by clicking my face here. Bye-bye.